Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, Town Official Language Implementation Committee Meeting of Rorkela Health. Shrujani Mela Come Award Function held at Centering Plant 1 and Amniotic Membrane Transplant done for the first time in Ispah General Hospital of Sale, Rorkela Steel Plant. Now the news in detail. The half yearly meeting of Town Official Language Implementation Committee TOLIC was held at the Bandhan Hall of Indo-German Club on 15th March. Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, ED Works, Rorkela Steel Plant, RSP, was the chief guest of the program. Also present on the dais were Mr. Nirmal Kumar Dubey, Assistant Director, Raj Bhasha, Implementation, Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India, Kolkata, and Mrs. Archana Satpati, DGMPR and COC, RSP and Member Secretary, TOLIC. More than 30 representatives from several central government organizations, public sector undertakings, banks, insurance, companies, etc. of Rorkela attended the meeting. In his address, Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi appreciated the active participation of the TOLIC members in the interactive session. He highlighted the activities of RSP in the promotion of Raj Bhasha and the moral and social responsibility of each member organization as well as the society to carry forward the cause of Raj Bhasha. A will to do will easily make things happen in Raj Bhasha advancement, say the ED works. He also urged all to think of ways and means to integrate Raj Bhasha in the world of industry 4.0 and artificial intelligence. Mr. Dubey reviewed the progress of the implementation of Raj Bhasha by the member organizations and elaborated about the various measures to be adopted and procedures to be adhered to. He emphasized upon the need of formulating checkpoints and parameters for self-assessment. He also reiterated the need of proper documentation and timely submission of reports and returns. Mrs. Archana Satpati welcomed the gathering and highlighted the importance of usage of simple Hindi for wider acceptance and implementation. In the interaction session held on the occasion, representatives from the member organizations deliberated upon various issues relating to the implementation of Raj Bhasha. Subcommittees were formed for e-magazine of TO, LIC and other operational activities. Ms. Lolati Topo, AGM, PR and Raj Bhasha presented the status report. Mr. Vishwanath Sahu, manager Raj Bhasha, Canara Bank, coordinated the program while Ms. K. Shobha from LIC India, Sector 19 proposed a formal vote of thanks. A Shrujani Mela come award function was held for employees of Sintering Plant 1 of Sale, Rorkela Steel Plant at the Departmental Conference Hall on 9th March 2023. Mr. Tapas Ranjan Mohanty, GM, SP1 presided over the function and handed over the awards to the winners of the scheme. Present on the occasion were Mr. B.K. Behra, AGM IED and other officers and employees of the department. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Mohanty encouraged all in the department to participate for improving the performance of the department. Mr. B.K. Behra gave an overview about the status of Shrujani in the plant with special reference to the departmental Shrujani updates. Around 24 suggestions were awarded. Rupees 300 was given for each implemented suggestions. More than 100 new suggestions were generated during the Mela. Each of the suggestions was presented with a token gift. The function was coordinated by Mr. P. K. Das, AGM SP1, while Mr. M. K. Tarai, Senior Manager, SP1, proposed a formal vote of thanks. The ophthalmologist of Spa General Hospital, IGH of Sale, Rorkela Steel Plant, have been carrying out advanced and sophisticated surgical eye treatment. 
One such critical but successful surgery was carried out recently. Mr. Ashutosh Biswal, a trainee in RSP, suffered from injury on 4th April. As a result, he had limbal ischemia. To restore corneal clarity, normalize ocular surface and prevent glaucomatous optic nerve damage, the patient was immediately operated. Dr. Anima Tiga, senior consultant, medical and health services conducted a successful amniotic membrane transplant. Under the guidance and supervision of Dr. R. R. Mohanty, additional CMO, medical and health services. Sister Clara Soreng, Sister Namita and Siba Naik, the technician, assisted in the process. The patient will take one month to recover. Prior to this, Dr. Tiga also did a similar operation on Mr. Gulshan Dangwar, a non-entitled patient. Both the eyes of Mr. Dangwar were operated with successful amniotic membrane transplant. The recovery rate is also quite encouraging. The cases of amniotic membrane transplant are being done for the first time in IGH. It is worth mentioning here that IGH already has an eye bank. Efforts are on to get the requisite permissions for corneal transplantation which will help in carrying out the corneal transplant surgeries in the hospital. That's all for the news today. Namaskar.